All right, it's day 131 of the series, 67 for these two vines. A lot of these older leaves have died off. They have a finite lifespan, regardless of whether they do really well or poorly. So I came to the conclusion that I was sunburning all of my leaves over this series by having the lamps too close. Not only that, the intensity was too high. And the way I ameliorated that was I changed the bulbs for weaker bulbs. So 500 lumen bulbs instead of 1080 lumen bulbs. And I think things are starting to green up here a little bit. It's pretty hot. That's a pretty representative snapshot of what the weather's like indoors. And just overall, everything looks a lot more green compared to last time when it was uh, sort of yellowish and sickly. So here are the new bulbs. They're only 500 lumens. All right, it's day 138 of this series, and the leaves have recovered somewhat. They're a lot greener now. So let me give you a big picture shot of what's going on. This is my new monitor box. It's a lot lower to the ground than those, uh, you know, cheap ottomans that I had before. And the pot is no longer sitting on a bunch of weight plates. So everything is lower. The position of the lights is actually the same. But, um, you know, I've still got four clamp lamps. It's just that the light bulbs are much weaker now. So I've greatly increased the distance, and these light bulbs are LED light bulbs, and they only give off 500 lumens and use 7.5 watts of power. So that's a significant reduction just in the, you know, the intensity alone of the light being given off, and also the distance is vastly increased. So these older leaves have been recovering somewhat, but they're going to shed regardless because I think all these leaves have a finite lifespan. You can see some dead ones. I trimmed away a lot of the older ones. So that's why the view here at, you know, the base of the vines looks so clean now. And I just watered yesterday, so there's been a 24-hour burst of flowering activity. And if you'll notice, the newer leaves look a lot healthier and a lot greener compared to the older leaves. The older leaves can only recover so much. Essentially, I was sunburning all of these plants um, indoors by having the, the light sources too close and having the intensity of the light too high. So that's a very welcome development. I'd rather use much less light to achieve a much more aesthetic result that's a lot healthier for these plants. So it's been a while since I filmed, but I don't know if I pollinated this with my brush last time. I mean, I saw some yellow pollen on it, but that could be from my mystery plant series. I'm gonna cut this open and try to pollinate it and, you know, in the meantime, we have a suspect over here. So these look slightly different from the uh, female flowers from my honeydew melon series last year. And that's why I was a little thrown off in the beginning. But we have a bunch of male flowers. That's definitely not a problem. And I'm going to try to, you know, cut this one off to the wilted part and try to give it a go with pollination. So if you look at the big picture here, there are two vines in parallel. That's the one that developed a little quicker. Uh, leaves are bigger than this vine in the back. So I don't have names for them, just, you know, the frontal vine, back vine, um, whatnot. So as you can see, there's a female flower that's still active back here, and I'm gonna manually pollinate that. So it might actually be the case that the vine in the back will start growing fruit first. Although I, I missed the opportunities for this uh, because there was a little bit of uncertainty and because I was so focused on just seeing these uh, leaves do better and turn greener that I wasn't really paying attention to the hundreds of flowers, you know, mostly male. To this point, there's been just hundreds and I've had to clean up a lot of those. So if we zoom in here you can just see 
an example of how many flowers I had to deal with at each uh, meristem that was just going crazy. So I used very sharp, fine scissors to chop away the wilted part. And I have a paintbrush from last year. And I'm gonna go find a male flower on the other vine. So there are plenty of male flowers to go around. They're open at any given time. Just gonna use this brush and uh, swirl around inside. I can even do the same for the same vine, but first I'll just try to pollinate. Um, maybe we can get some more. Okay, so... I look at the brush tip. You know, there's just not a lot of pollen, but hope this can get the job done. Definitely put in a little more work here off camera. This is just for demonstration purposes. I want to make sure everything that can be fertilized is fertilized, but uh, I don't have high hopes for these two that I cut open. Maybe they're already too late, but um, you know, the one on the back vine is definitely good to go. I'm really glad that there are female flowers for me to pollinate. This uh, you know, project was looking kind of sad there for a few weeks when everything was just getting burned to a crisp, but... Now that the leaves are turning green again and um, pollinating, I have high hopes that maybe I'll get some small melons. These have miniature melons compared to uh, supermarket honeydews, and that really suits indoor living room growing.